Hey everybody, it's Amanda with Hat Mom and the Bag Brigade. Good morning. It's still morning. I, I, I made it to do this during the morning instead of the afternoon. First of all, I want to thank you all for your prayers uh, for Will's uh, foot. He is back to work today. Thank you so very much to you all for your prayers. And uh, glad he's up and around and back to work. He was driving us a little crazy. <laughs> uh, this is our daily devotionals. This is Mornings with Jesus. Today is Monday, April 18th, and we will start with a Bible verse, and then we'll read the inspirational story, okay? So, Bible verse goes as follows. Jesus spoke all these things to the crowd in parables. He did not say anything to them without using a parable. Matthew 13, 34. Now, our story. I love stories, so I was thrilled to attend the Moth main stage event in Breckenridge, Colorado. The Moth is a non-profit organization dedicated to the craft of storytelling. The founder wanted to recreate the feeling of summer evenings in his native Georgia. When moths were attached to the light on the, on the porch where he and his friends would gather to tell spellbinding tales the event features folks who tell their stories who tell to tell their story to crowds across the country i was captivated as the speakers bravely told their stories one young man had almost died while guiding tourists into on, on a glacier trek in alaska one woman had survived the chinese communist revolution revolution and another woman humorously walked talked about unexpectedly becoming a grandmother you could hear a pin drop while they spoke Neuro neuroscience has shown storytelling elicits joy and helps people pay attention and remember the points of the story i love how jesus already knew the power of storytelling he told the best stories his parables were full of power, powerful and life-changing lessons. Who doesn't love a good story? What a creative God we have to provide such an amusing way to grow our faith, grow in our faith. Listening to the moth speakers reminded me of Jesus's ability to tell fascinating tales that in impart priceless wisdom. I was inspired to bravely share my own stories in hopes of encouraging others to experience a relationship with Jesus who makes my life a story worth telling. Janine Blackmare. Face Step. Invite friends over for an opportunity to tell their Jesus stories after a topic such as childlike trust, overcoming fear, or facing an unknown, unknown encourage each person to share. I like that. I like that very much. So do you have a story you'd like to share? <laughs> I'm sure we all do. I know the good Lord has definitely done some miraculous things with my life. I surely didn't think it was worth living in, in several instances. And he definitely showed me it was worth living. So as usual, if you have any special prayer requests, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Also feel free to email me. And I will most most definitely pray for you. Uh, if you have something special that you you know don't want to share with everybody in the comments, you can always email me privately, and I'll be glad to uh, pray for you uh, discreetly if that's what you need. Um, I thank you all for tuning in. Uh, God bless you, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye now. <laughs>